This episode is going to go swimmingly because it's about swimming. Let's get pet fit. Are you ready to lose between 400 and 600 calories? Spectacular! And here's what you're going to need. A swimsuit, some dog treats, a pair of goggles, a waterproof dog toy and a doggy life jacket. But that's optional. Pick out a swimsuit that makes you feel comfortable. My rule of thumb is pick a swimsuit that brings out the colour in your eyes. Speaking of eyes, it's very important to have some goggles because you want to protect your eyes from the chlorine underwater. And if you want to keep your luscious locks dry, a swimming hat. But it's not necessary. Your swim hat looks dashing, darling. And for your pup, toys and treats are going to be very important if they've never been in the water because it will help entice them to join in the fun. If you want to be super safe, you can pick up one of these doggy life jackets at your pet store. And if you're a protective mummy like me, you might just want to pick one up. It's a beautiful day. Let's get wet and wild. Come on, doggies. Swimming is a great activity for you and your pup because of its low impact on the body. It's a great cardiovascular workout, helps strengthen the core and assists with building longer, leaner muscles. Introducing your pup to the water is a very important step, so we want to make sure it's a positive experience. We don't just want to drop our dogs into the pool. If possible, let your dog walk into the pool by themselves. Call them into the water. Walk around in the shallow end and let them get used to it. Try giving your dog treats or toys to play with in the water to take their mind off being hesitant and scared of a new experience. Now your dog is deep enough in the water, they will begin to tread water. Now dogs do this instinctively, but it's good practice to put one hand underneath your pup's chest to lift them up and guide them with their paddles. A life jacket does what your hands would be doing, but it frees you up to encourage your dog to come towards you, paddle and be the best doggy in the world. Swimming is great for dogs because of the low impact on their hips and joints, which is especially good for older dogs. Now let's learn some basic swimming strokes so that we know we're doing them correctly. The breaststroke is a fun stroke and it's pretty easy to do. So just follow these three easy steps. Scoop your arms up and propel yourself forward. Bring your body up for a breath and back down and frog kick. The front crawl is a great introductory stroke and it's great for a full body workout. Start by resting your arms and legs by the side of the pool. Push off the side of the pool to give you momentum. Push your arms straight in front of you and flutter with your legs. It's important to remember to keep your legs close to the surface of the water and your feet floppy like flippers. We want to make sure that we bring our elbows up high, cut into the water, but do not slap. Pop your head up for a breath or tilt your head to the side. And of course, the doggy paddle. What a better way to bond with your dog than swimming like they do. Just cup your hands into paws and freestyle your legs underneath the water. Keep your chin above the surface and swim like a little doggy. Just by swimming for one hour, you can lose between four chocolate pudding cups and this personal cheese pizza. Now that makes me want to go swimming even more. Now, not all breeds of dogs can physically swim due to their body proportions. So if you have one of these types of dogs, you might want to consider getting a little doggy life jacket so they can swim to their heart's content. See you next time for more ideas on how to get you and your pet fit. Now I'm going to work on my tan. <laughs>